shot when they drop. Get lit, twist, let's trail. The top get green on the scene, call it creamy the crops. I got a team with a dream, they be scheming a lot. What's good, YouTube? Kenny Reacts back in the hit out. Hoping to did down for the crit out, y'all. What's going on, everybody? So, Church just dropped a new video a little bit ago called Dear Ass People. And we are going to jump right into it because, of course, we want to know what he's got to say. Sometimes I think God wakes up and he's like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to see some havoc today. I had a little tingle in my butt crack this morning. Not from nothing gay. I felt like... <laughs> you know, only he could say that and get away with it. I felt a little tingle in my butt crack this morning. It wasn't nothing gay, though. Jesus sent me a little text message this morning. He's like, making any videos? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe why. He's like, well, I got a feeling you will be in the future. Mm -hmm. And I text back, I was like, well, how do you know? He's like, I'm Jesus. Apparently, him and his dad and the three wise men showed face at a party that was in hell the other night. Satan's about to go on a road trip to Georgia. The devil broke down some lettuce. An hour later, the whole room's filled with holy smoke. Apparently, Jesus... <laughs> Say he broke down some lettuce. The whole room was filled with holy smoke. <laughs> Found the devil's phone on the ground, which happens to be an iPhone 13. Thought that was kind of weird, especially with the whole bite out of the apple and shit. You know what I mean? So Jesus went to the fiery bathroom and went through his phone to look at the agenda for today. I said, damn, Jesus, you a slick motherfucker. He said, you goddamn right. I said, you're God's damn son, really. Seven hours later, he sends me a YouTube link. Oh, oh God, no. Oh. Hey, asshole, I'm not in hell yet. I'm <laughs> he said I'm not in hell yet. I can already see where this is going. I do believe that was Miss Nicole Harbour. And we all know how the church man feel about her. Still on earth. What the fuck you showing me this shit for? I'm gonna say this in equals I'm shameless. Damn, her voice is like nails on a chalkboard. So that's how cringy humans are made. When the devil and God get together and do drugs, they do this shit on purpose. They do. I'm gonna say this in equals I'm shameless. Oh, don't worry. We know you ain't got no shame. You could kick a fucking baby off of a roof and you'd be like, oh, oh my God, it's because of the famous guy. I like me better before I was famous. Before you were famous? You're still not famous. I guess you could be considered <laughs> notorious, but even then, you're still notorious for yelling sexual assault on five famous people, and you still aren't famous. Only person sexually assaulting you is you because you keep fucking yourself over. I like hip hop before Zenny's claimed us. And I you're sexually assaulting yourself, Nicole Arbor. Stop fucking yourself. I don't like movies where the president saved us. Damn, Miss Piggy, COVID really got you, didn't it? You went back to Canada and got a fucking degree in maple syrup. Hold up, hold up. I got, I got to mention this, man. Hold up. She's been with Church, hung out with him, been to his house. Uh, he's, you know, putting her all over his channel, um, like dogging the shit out of her, rightfully so. But I say that to say this. He's done all that. She's done all that with him. Been on his channel. He's still putting her on his channel, showing her videos, trash talking her, of course. But he's doing the same thing to Johnny Cobble. <laughs> and Johnny Cobble's, his fame keeps rising. Nicole Herbert, I feel like she's a she's a, a standstill, man. It's like stalemate. She ain't going nowhere. That, that's funny, man. That's fun. That would make me feel some type of way if I was some sort of famous person and this dude in Paintsville is getting more recognition than I am. You've been wearing that saggy jumpsuit for like five months. You're really trying to get in the groove of eight mile to be a rapper, aren't you? Most of us something to realize it's a hustle fight. I have no idea what words just came out of your mouth, but eight mile my ass. You need to run eight miles. Eminem, no. You ate a bucket of Eminems. I wish it wasn't Eminems, though. I wish it was Reese Pieces, and I wish somebody would fucking lead a trail all the way back to Canada so you'd get the fuck out of here. You're all taken down by press out to muscle. Why do I feel like there's a new gray Teletubby that forgot his fucking house? On my way out of bed just to get back in the bustle. You know, for someone who thinks they're the baddest bitch in the world, you sure do have a fucking sinkhole ass. If you, so you know, and for somebody who's, uh, I don't know, she's late 30s, early 40s. I know that Ryan has said before that she was like in her 40s or whatever. But for somebody who is in her 40s, she sort of act like a child. Just some of the dumb shit that she said or done. Put on somebody's hood of their car. I hope they have fucking insurance. Like, what is that thing? Yeah, just to get back in the bustle. Looks like somebody put two old Charlie's rolls in a fuck. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
maybe it's just me, but this shit, this shit right here, right here, this shit right here, this shit remind me of a clip out of the Nutty Professor. Oh my God, he's gonna blow! <laughs> Eddie Murphy. <laughs> when he was Sherman Clump and he was like this big. Oh my God. You know, for someone who thinks they're the baddest bitch in the world, you sure do have a fucking sinkhole ass. If you sit on somebody's hood of their car, I hope they have fucking insurance. Like, what is that thing? Just to get back in the bustle. Looks like somebody put two old Charlie's rolls in a fucking dish towel. It looked like Sherman Clump <laughs> from Dr. Uh, Dr. No, not Dr. Doolittle. I just said it. Well, the Nutty Professor, that's what it looked like. Just to get back in the bustle. It looks like it smells like warm cabbage and boiled quarters. Yo, this, this right here, right here, this right here, that might be my thumbnail. That just might be my thumbnail. With a big black and yellow banner across the back of that shit that says, Wide Load. <laughs> or Warning, Sinkhole. That's even better, I might do that one, I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Just to get back in the bustle. You can't claim to be all this hot shit when your ass looks like Peter Griffin's chin, okay? So, go get back to basics of fun. <laughs> he said your ass look like a chin scrotum. Your ass look like a scrotum chin. Hey, maybe it's just me, but Peter Griffin, his, his chin, he, dude look like he got a ball sack on his face. Damn, this is sad. You ever notice she never has any friends with her whatsoever? It's always like, hey, I have this horrible <laughs> fucking idea. Oh, wait, no one's standing around me. Of course she ain't got no friends around her. She screamed rape about them all, man. Right? Didn't she? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. That was the other one. I don't know. But I wouldn't want to be her friend. Um, hi, I'm looking for people to help me stand around and act like they care for my horrible idea. What's crazy is the people in the video that have no idea who she is are making more money than she's going to make off the whole entire song her entire life. That's kind of like how he going to make more money off of all the shit that Johnny Gobble putting out than Johnny Gobble going to make off of his own content. Which I believe is because they got him demonetized because people kept reporting him. But rightfully so. Look at desperity in her face is just about as satisfying as the first pee of the morning. My favorite part about this whole thing is she hasn't posted anything in three months. The last thing she posted flopped. The last, like, a lot of things she posted flopped. She's pretty much been flopping since, like, you know, a long time ago. And now she's like, oh, look at me, I'm good. I have these women singing, get back to yourself. And I'm doing dance moves. <laughs> So what is she really doing? Is she rapping? Or is she doing church gospel? <laughs> People who aren't my friends, I'm a good person. No, 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 no. Everybody knows you're Amber Heard Jr. fucking. Yeah, everybody's like, look, there's Amber Heard's sister, sister. They do all the same things. And then you're all like, oh no, it's a photo op. And everybody's like, no, it can't be a photo op. You're at home on your iPhone doing stand-up comedy, you know, because you're standing up. Hell, you're not even at home. You're in our home. America! We don't give degrees for maple syrup over here. You not saying anything and just being quiet and looking into a mirror is stand-up comedy, as long as you're not sitting in a chair. She opened up a sign and said, we'll work for likes. <laughs> oh my God. And then she got one heart in the cup. We'll work for likes. She got one. She's collected one. Oh, a whole day glam for a red carpet shoot me. You don't go to red carpet awards. What would you go for? To deliver the carpet? You're the person that shows up in a shiny dress and like tries to hide it till like last minute and then you like kind of walk with people but not really. You're like five feet away and you're like, I'm with them. 
Yo, he is putting your business all the way out there, man. Oh, dear. What's the red carpet of work going to be like if the fucking chick who made the Dear Fat People video isn't there? <laughs> but hell, people might not even notice. It's been a while since you made that video, Chunky Monkey. And what the fuck did your sign say? We'll work for likes. It's a bold statement coming from someone who doesn't work that everyone dislikes. I like my clothes before Ellen took me. I like my bags before the industry shook me. This is probably what the inside of her brain looks like. Just a little <laughs> wide open spaces. Wide open spaces. <laughs> a small version of her inside of her empty ass fucking blank brain telling herself stuff she wants to hear. Also for something to realize is a lie. Left and right wanna fight money machine came out. Once again, don't know what you said. Bunch of gibberish coming from a human sucker fish. But Candace Owens is better than you. You ain't no leader if you're screaming out for ah, you are caught up in the algorithm like it's a guy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She stretched her word a little too long. Delivery cringe, level 5 million. You are caught up in the algorithm like it's a guy. Caught up in the algorithm like it's a guy. I Look, I made two lesbians now. <laughs> she had to pay extra money for chicks to wear lingerie. That's hilarious. She didn't want everybody catching her own memes looking like a fucking Russian nesting doll, bro. I'ma say this and hate because I'm shameless. I haven't tried because I was scared of being famous. Well, if you're not scared to beat up your ex-boyfriend, Matt, and take four famous guys to court and get your ass kicked all over court and pretty much fling yourself in the dumpster of Amber Heard type people, then I, you probably wouldn't be scared to be famous. You're just not famous. He said throw in the dumpster of Amber Heard people. I, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe y'all seen it too, but uh, Nate from Father Son Reactions or I don't, you know what? I don't know that it was actually him, but Father Son Reactions thumbnail that they did on the other video that Church did about her that came to mind with her in the dumpster fire. Well, kids, you can pay to look kind of famous, I guess. Come on. I think you look nice. I think you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> Yo, he said that so effortlessly, bro. Oh my god. He said, I think you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> he ain't sugarcoating shit. <laughs> For Baba and Grandma? Hold up. Calling Jesus. What? Are you doing? what? You're back down there again? Remember that video you sent me earlier, asshole? At the end of the video, it says, For Baba. <laughs> he just called. He called Jesus an asshole. Baba and Grandma, will you go see what they thought of it? Oh, they said it sucks. They said it fucking sucked. Oh! And that's the end. I already knew that, man. I knew he was going to end it on some kind of note like that. That was funny as hell. <laughs> Yo, Church. Church is on a roll, bro. Like a ball. He's on a roll like a ball, and he ain't stopping, man. That was funny as shit. Looking forward to the next one. I thank y'all for watching it with me. It's been Kenny Reacts. Back in the hit out. Holding it down for the crit out, y'all. I'll catch you in the next video.